All right, this is finished now. <laughs> G'day guys, I'm Grouse from Grouse Garage, and today's video is all about LS1 tuning. In this video, I'm gonna talk about three different options for putting a tune onto an LS1. The first option comes from one of these. Second option for a tune comes from this little device here, and that is an AutoCal. Third option for a tune, well, that comes from right there, and that is a dyno tune. So with all the mechanical work now finished on Xpopo and that first test drive under my belt, uh, I've got to get it tuned. Thanks to everyone who watched that first drive video. Um, I was really surprised actually at how well that video did. Obviously a lot of you guys are out there are interested in uh, seeing an LS1 Commodore get rebuilt and then test driven, but there's one thing that I've got to do now obviously and that is get it tuned. So um, this is all new to me. First time I've been mucking around with an LS1 and I worked LS1 at that. So I did a little bit of research and I think um, there are three options that anyone has for getting an LS1 tuned. Uh, and I'm gonna go through those options in this video and I'm gonna show you how the car drives right now um, with no, uh, no smoke and mirrors, no YouTube bullshit. I'm gonna show you exactly uh, how the car drives, what the issues are with it, and then once I get it tuned, I'm gonna show you the improvements that a tune will make for all those particular issues. So there's three options, guys, for a tune for an LS1. Um, the first one that I looked at and researched was a mail order tune. And that's where, you, from what I could see, you browse a website or even have a look on eBay and you've got, you can pay a sum of money and get a PCM pre-programmed or you can mail in your PCM and they will drop a tune onto it and mail it back. Um, you know, I thought that was quite an easy option. I emailed a couple of those places asking for more info and I got absolutely nothing from them at all. So I decided to forget that, um, not worth pursuing any further. Next option uh, that I looked at was a remote tune and that from what I could read online was all about paying a sum of money and then receiving the an AutoCal device to plug it into the plug it into the car, um, download the current tune on, on it, send it off, the tuner will then take all the spec of your car and uh, tweak that tune file, that flash file, and send it back to you to upload a flash or PCM. And uh, from what I understand, you can go back and forth a few times, downloading, logging data, downloading the flash file, sending it off, having it adjusted. Um, so that was the second option. Third option was to take the car to the dyno and um, run it on the dyno and get it tuned at the same time. Now, um, that to me probably wasn't an option at this point in time. You know, there, there's a motor and there's a transmission that have been completely rebuilt and are fresh and new. Uh, on top of that, I've done it all myself. So, um, you know, there is the, the concern that I might, may not have done something right. And I just thought, I felt at this point in time, running that on the dyno and running it flat out on the dyno with that probably wasn't um, worthwhile. It wasn't something I really wanted to do at this point in time. So it only left me with the one option and that was the remote tune. And that's the way I'm going to go and that's what you're gonna see in this video. So what is coming up now is I'm going to record um, some footage drive, starting and driving the car with no tune. So it's a worked LS1, uh, it's, a, it's a worked 4L60E, and it's the stock tune on the PCM. So you're gonna see that warts and all. I've already taken the car for a test rip. You've seen that in the previous video. Uh, drives good, but does have some issues. So let's have a look at those now. Okay guys, we're trying something different today and that is a cockpit view of 
ex popo with warts and all starting it up driving it with a worked engine and no tune so to start off with the car sitting here in the driveway it's cold uh, I'm going to show you how it starts or doesn't start and then I'm going to go for just a couple of laps around the block and we'll have a look at how it performs with no tune. So let's start her up. Okay, need to hit the immobilizer. And now we'll start it up. And straight away you can see just turning the key, a couple of cranks it fires, that's all great, won't idle. We'll try it again. And it's not going to start, as you can see, unless I give the accelerator a tiny little bit of pressure to let a little bit more air through the um, throttle body. So I'll do that. Okay, and we've got, we've got it running. And I just need to hold the accelerator there to keep the RPM over a 1,000. Otherwise, it will just die. So... I'll just let it sit for a tiny bit. You can see temperature is not even registering, so it is bone cold, and uh, I'll just see if I can get it to idle for a little bit, and then I'll take it for a drive. All right, so I've just had it idling for a little bit. If I take my foot off the accelerator, have a look what happens. Okay, it is going to idle, and it's probably sitting at around about 650, 700 maximum, and it's idling too low. It's You can kind of hear the chop there. Let me open the door. You can hear the chop of the cam, which is great. The idle just needs to be a little bit better. Um, certainly revs nice. And see it drops all the way down and nearly stalls. So once we put the tune on, we'll do the same thing and we'll compare that. But for now, let's go for a drive. It really goes well. When it hits about 2000 RPM, it really takes off. It drives very, very well. It's just the idle that is the issue. And it nearly stalls here. And it nearly stalls, but we'll keep going. So you can see 2000 RPM with a little bit of acceleration. It drives so nicely. And it shifts well too, like it shifts exactly where it should, I think. Uh, I'm, sure the, I'm sure the shifting and the transmission performance in general can be improved with a tune. Um, but for now, I think it's okay. Maybe when a tune is applied and they uh, and they tweak the um, the transmission shift timing, uh, maybe there'll be such a difference that I'll be amazed. We'll just coast down the hill here now. So just coasting along, it's all fine. It's really just when I pull up, come to a slow or a stop, that it really starts to cough and splutter and want to stall. Uh, and I'm hoping that a tune completely eliminates that and makes it much more drivable. And it's really, you can see the idle here, there is uh, is only on about six, 700. It nearly wants to stall here. But I'll give it some up this hill. Oh yes, did you feel that? <laughs> now that is some good performance. That really ripped up that hill. And there's the stall, you know, just coasting along there. It's sitting at about 2,400, which is what it is, a 2,400 stallie. So it's got some power and it drives really, really nicely. Um, except for low revs like that there, pulling into that street. All right, we're back from our drive. You've seen how it goes. Now it's time to upload that tune to get it sent off and modified to suit the engine. I've got my AutoCal device here. I need to plug it into the car and go through the process of capturing that existing tune so that the tuner has something to work with. So what I need to do is 
Um, just going to sit that there. I've got to plug this in under the dash. And then we'll go through the steps on the auto cowl and we'll capture that tune. So, All right, so that's plugged in under the dash. Turn the ignition on. I might just hit the immobilizer in case that affects anything. All right, ignition's on and we've got power to the auto cowl. And hopefully you can see that. I might bring it over in front of the steering wheel here so you can see what's going on. And we'll just hit yes on the uh, end user license agreement because obviously I've read every word of that. I'm just going to go yes. And what I need to do is I need to go to tune, I believe. So we'll arrow across to that. Read tunes. So I'll go yes on that one. Uh, select a controller to read. So what I was told to select is LS1B. So I'll go yes to that. Now it's having a little think. And it says read tune file. And it's also uh, uh, detected the VIN of the vehicle. And it's executing something. It says executing bootloader, unlocking, reading. And what's going on with that? Uh, it says reading. Oh, here we go. We've got some movement there now. So uh, that looks like it's going to be a slow process. So we might just save you guys uh, having to sit through that and we'll just fast forward. Okay, that's near the end now of reading that file. That really just seemed to take forever. Um, but that's finally finished. Uh, it says saving file, checking. Uh, and it says read completed successfully, saved as, and there's a file name there. So, uh, so I'll hit X on that, thank you. Now it says switch off ignition and wait for the countdown to complete. So we'll switch the ignition off. And that is capturing the tune. That's saving that tune on the car. Now what I need to do is send that off to the tuner. And then when he's worked his magic, I will get the, get the tune back. I will upload the tune to the AutoCal device and uh, drop it onto the car, flash the PCM, and um, we'll see how we go. It's a few days later now. I've taken that file, sent it off to the tuner. He's made some modifications, sent it back to me. I've uploaded it to the AutoCal device. I've got that sitting right there. Got my laptop ready with some instructions on how to flash the PCM, upload that new file. I'm gonna do that now. Let's check out the process. Um, all right, so when I captured that file uh, a few days ago, it seemed to take forever. And now I'm flashing the ECU with the updated file and hopefully it won't take as long, but let's sit this up here and let's wait for it to complete. All right, let's check on the progress. Oh, we're getting there. It's getting close. Um, and I think Judging by what it's saying here, I think this uh, flashing of the PCM takes a little bit longer than the capturing of the file because it has to erase the existing file first and then upload the new one. All right, this is finished now. Flash comp completed successfully. I'll go, thank you very much on that. Switch ign ignition off and wait for the countdown to complete. So we'll switch the ignition off. Wait for that to complete, then I will unplug and we'll go for our first drive. All right, guys, I'm in the driver's seat now. Keys in the ignition. Uh, this will be the first start after uh, flashing the PCM with that first modified tune. So let's start it and we'll see. What I'm looking for here is uh, the ability to start without having to touch the accelerator. Uh, and I'm looking for idle. So let's give it a go. Wow, 
Did you see that? Did you hear that? That is, oh man. Okay, listen to that chop. Hopefully you can hear that chop from that cam. That is really good. That's excellent. That's idling perfect. The idle looks like it's up to about 8.50-ish according to the gauge. Um, that's fantastic. I'm going to get my belt on and we're going to go for a drive. That feels the same because it was uh, pretty responsive and um, powerful without the tune. Pulling up here, every time I pulled up here at this intersection previously, it would stall. Perfect. Let's drive. down perfectly exactly where I want it to. All right, we'll just coast along on this stretch of road now. We're going downhill. So it's idling uh, nicely as I'm coasting. Um, when I went through this stretch of road before uh, coasting down this hill, it would feel like uh, it was definitely idling too low and wanting to stall. Um, but we're sitting just under a thousand, or pretty much on a thousand RPM there. Give it a little acceleration through here. Yeah, that's a huge improvement. It really is a huge improvement. That's fantastic. All right, we're coming to this bend now here. I'll give it some acceleration up the hill. Oh my God, that was wheel spinning. Wow. That was dead set spinning the wheels. That is amazing. Absolutely love it. Need to be careful though. Need to be careful. Ah, oh, that's unbelievable. Huge difference. That is a powerful, powerful engine. All right, coming up to a turn here. Again, it's not going to stall. It doesn't even feel like it's going to stall. So that really is a big improvement in the way it drives. Even the way that's shifting actually is noticeably, noticeably better as well. So I'm going to pull up back here at the Grouse Garage. And we'll pull into the garage. And, and that is spot on. That is so much better. That really is a huge difference. All right. All right, it's time to plug in the auto cowl and start that logging process. All right, we're back in the driveway now. I've got to plug in the auto cowl again to log data. I need to drive the car for about 15 minutes to collect a decent log file with that updated tune that I've just dropped on there. And then I um, take that off the auto cowl and send it off to the tuner and we go through the process again. So I'll plug that in now. I'll capture the data. I'll send that off. I'll be back in a moment with... It'll be a few days later with an updated tune and we'll drop it on there and we'll see how much more improvement we can get. Now I need to give it a full throttle blast up this hill. That was the instruction from the tuner, so I hope it doesn't lose traction. Does too, shit. Oh my god, that just loses traction. I'm afraid I'm gonna stack it. All right, that was a good blast. That was a very good blast. guys we're back from our final run i've got the auto cal device here i have gone back and forth with the tuner about three times now i think i've 
three times I've flashed the PCM in X Popo and we've got that tune exactly the way I want it. Car start, three cranks in the car starts, beautiful. Nice choppy idle, um, even when cold, just really sits nicely and, and um, that chop is just, for that cam is just brilliant. Performance wise, from the very start of this process to now, so, so three times working and, and tweaking that tune and flashing the PCM, the performance gain is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, and I'm not exaggerating, and I'm not just saying that. The car drove really well um, in the beginning. I thought, oh, this is great. This has got heaps of power. And the tuner has worked some insane magic, and this thing absolutely rips now. I'm really, really impressed. I'd love to know how they do it, and I'd love to understand the process. I'd love to do it myself. But, um, you know, a lot of us, we, we don't have that skill, and we've got to rely on people and a remote tune is certainly the way to go i know a lot of you guys will be saying oh you should have just put it on the dyno and you should have got a dyno tune and yes i'd love to know what power it's putting out and only a dyno will tell me that but i'm really happy with the remote tune process i'm happy that i got to go back and forth several times over a few weeks to make sure that tune was spot on and I just think that if you go and get um, your car done on a dyno and you're there for, for several hours getting it tuned and then you're off and out of there, you just don't get that luxury of, you know, of working the tune just that little bit more and um, fine tuning things. And um, I just think the remote tune just gives you that luxury of making sure it's 100% spot on. So full credit to the guy that did the tune on this. Absolutely rips. And that is final video that you're going to see for X Popo for now. Next in the process will be bodywork and paint. Now that is something that I love to do uh, myself and if you've seen my old Tirana restoration video and the Tirana is sitting right there, if you've seen that video you know that um, I do all my own paint and panel and I absolutely love it and the X Popo is going to get the treatment next takes a little bit longer for me to do that so pumping out content uh, won't be as rapid but that is what's going to come up next for that I do also have another project on the go I will be dropping a video on this channel for that project uh, give you a sneak peek of what is to come so check out um, that video have a look out for that one thanks for being on the journey all the way with X Popo and if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen some of the previous videos make sure you go back and check out what we've done on this car thanks for watching